I proclaim I'm going to fan the Holy Spirit fire in the youth this year and myself. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. Come on. I am going, I proclaim that my faith will grow tremendously more and that the Holy Spirit will work through me twice, three times, four times as much as last year. Yes. The building will have the funds that is necessary to pay it off. And I proclaim it in Jesus' name. I proclaim that I will not be the same at the end of 2010 as I am when it begins. Yes, amen. My spiritual walk will be tenfold what it is today. Yes, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody proclaim the goodness of God. I proclaim this is going to be a place of anointing and healing. And that people will come and God will show up. Come on, someone else. I proclaim that I'm going to live my life faithfully. And I'm not going to live it in fear. And that fear is not going to visit my door or my heart anymore. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Come on, someone else. Glory to God. I'll hog this whole service if you don't get up here. Glory to God. (laughs) I proclaim that I am going to enjoy every moment and blessing that God gives me. Glory to God. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on, someone else. Make a proclamation. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to proclaim that I'm going to be half this size by 2011. Hallelujah. That's good. Glory to God. Doesn't Tammy look awesome? Her, her and her daughter decided they were going to hit a diet, and they've lost a lot already. I just, they look so good. I just, God is just so awesome. I'll tell you what. Come on, someone else. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, Hilda. All righty. I proclaim that uh, my prayer, my uh, my request prayer will answer again, and um, I will tell you some uh, little bit uh, miracle to my life. We've been married for not less than three years, and we're uh, renting a little house and seven hundred a month, and uh, almost every day. I pray that we can have a nice, that good, good, good uh, house and wide because uh, I'm all, I'm uh, friendly and I want my house open to everybody. So suddenly, in the middle of the, of the year 2009, that I don't know that we can buy a house, and God answered all my prayers. We got the house. In August. Thank you. Hallelujah. I just, I just want to proclaim uh, for the church and for the pastor that uh, $700,000 is going to come into the church this year to help the church to grow and to expand with its ministries and with all the blessings that God has wanted the church to do. And I also proclaim that the marriages will continually get better and, and people will be healed through the marriages that are going on right now, and it will be a witness to the outside world. Glory to God. God is good. I proclaim that the spirit of addiction will broken in my life and my family's life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Kermit? I know you've been waiting. I proclaim that my kids are going to come back to Christ and some of them are going to know Christ. Glory to God. Dennis, come on. Hallelujah. I had to write mine down and I didn't get them all on here. I proclaim that in 2010, the Lord is going to place me in a career where he will use me and, my, and provide for my family and, until I retire and, and believe without seeing. 
Yeah. Oh, that means I want faith for miracles and healing. Yeah. Yeah. Unlimited faith, yes. That my kids will be freed from bondage of sin. And we will move into our own home that we will own. I also proclaim that as foster parents that, that we will grow and our and our love will expand to to many more families, you know, that we can touch, that, that God just gives us a good foundation so we can be good foster parents to those kids who need love. Yes. Glory to God. Someone else, come on. Um I'm gonna quit running from the call of my life. Amen. And uh I've been called to preach. God has given me a message to preach. It's Isaiah 61. And I, every time, he, just twice I've heard this story up here about the man who visited two churches. And both times I get this chill in my heart. And God reminds me of the call of my life. And um, I need to quit running from it. This year I hope God... Or show me the way. Um, there's nothing I can do in my own. And uh, God has called me to preach the cross. Lord help me if I don't answer that call. God forgive me if I don't answer that call. And I'm hoping that, that God will give me every opportunity. Uh, to do that. I proclaim that my stepdad can find a job. Glory to God. Come on. I proclaim that my dad will come to know Jesus. Glory to God. And I just proclaim right now in the name of Jesus that this is the year of Jubilee. Hallelujah. This is the year of new beginnings. Glory to God. We're going to see manifestation of God's miracle working power, not just in our lives, but lives around us. I believe the harvest is going to come in left and right from the south, the north, the south, the east, and the west. And she wrote a letter to her mother and and I'm going to have her come up, Lindsay. She wrote a poem. It's called Where I'm From. Put it a little closer to your head. Lots of friends is where I'm from. Some friendly, some not. Some cool, some hot. Some of them are smart, as for the others, dumb. Friends are awesome, I'm not going to lie. They're like angels who lift our feet when our own wings have trouble remembering how to fly. And as for the dumb, I have learned that true friends walk in when everyone else walks out. And where I'm from, so tiny and small, we love to go shopping and play in the fall. Jeans, t-shirts, bathing suits, and flip-flops, pretty much anywhere from jump rope to hopscotch. Playing games like hide-and-go-seek, pool, spin the bottle, and 21. All these things are fun where I'm from. I'm from blonde hair and pretty brown eyes, from pepperoni pizza to vanilla ice cream and even apple pies. A place where there's love, hate, and fear. And still, here I am with my head held high, not shedding a tear. I'm from a dark-complected dad named Sean and Danielle, my beautiful blue-eyed mom, and my tight little brother, Sequoia, laid back and calm. Where I'm from, some people always tell me, you ain't got to lie to kick it and screw the world because the world screwed me. Where I'm from, this is me. From where I am, you can see. And often I would hear, pack your bags, little doggy. But all I've ever wanted is my awesome gone mommy. I'm, a from, I'm from a dysfunctional family, so careless and cold. And still to this day, all I want is a loving hand to hold. And since my parents were so strung out on crack, they never had the chance to realize that you never lose by loving, you lose by holding back. Yeah. And she said, where I am you can see, and often I would hear, pack your bags, little doggy. But all I ever wanted was my lost and gone. So receive your healing, and quit dealing with it. Because I accomplished it over 2,000 years ago. And it is finished. Just receive it. It's okay. 
Just receive it. It's okay. See, the Lord, His ways are so much higher than our ways, that He started at that time bringing all these different surgeons together. And they just happened to be in Riverside, California, this is where this happened, giving a seminar at that time on the use of lasers to put tendons and veins back together. So... When I got into the emergency room, the head surgeon ran upstairs and told the surgeons, he said, hey, instead of you teaching us on these slides, and you have all this equipment here, so we have a prime candidate on his way into the emergency room right now. So the surgeon went, okay, and they loaded up their stuff, and they came downstairs and put this back on. Put this hand back on. Praise so, uh, Jesus. Uh, what are you down here for? Down at camp for? Down at camp for? I yeah. just experience just God's rest and just His peace and just be closer to the, the family that we got going on here. Hallelujah. Hey. That's good awesome. one, huh? <laughs> yeah, baby. That's real good. Yeah. Hallelujah. So what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen? Oh, man, I'm going to get baptized. Oh, glory. What are you going to get baptized for? I'm going to die to this flesh. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I'm going to get baptized. I like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, all right, are you excited about getting baptized? Yeah. Well, what's that mean to you? Uh, keep plunged the Holy Spirit and be like, I don't know. Hey, but yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. I have my own. Are you getting baptized already? Yeah. Yeah? Well, what's the, what's the, what's the focus of getting baptized? Everything. Everything. Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Everything. Oh, so, okay. How about you, Tyler? Uh, it's being cleansed and then the Bible says that it's the next Hi, step. Tammy. Hi. I just want to uh, just take a minute and just... Uh, encourage you, first of all, uh, in the Lord. God is awesome, isn't He? Yes, yes. Uh, can I just ask you a couple questions? Sure. just want to ask you, how did that make you feel, being baptized? Light. Light, yes. Hallelujah. That's a good word. You know, it does make us feel light, doesn't it? Yeah. I really do appreciate you uh, coming down here and being part of this. And I know you'll never be the same. Just keep walking with the Lord and and uh, you'll never be the same. Hi, Dallas. Hey, I'm I'm excited. I just want to ask you a couple questions. Is that all right? Okay. How do you feel since you've been baptized? Um, new. Mm-hmm. New. Hallelujah. Feel uh, new inside, or what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just I appreciate you taking the time out and just sharing that with us. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thanks for this moment and. Uh, you know, I know you'll never be the same now. God loves you, and thank you for this opportunity. Okay, um, hi, I just want to ask you a few questions, okay? Say, so how do you feel since you've been baptized? I feel better than I've felt the mother my entire life. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Yes, awesome. Well, I just wanted to take a quick clip of that. Um, thank you. And I know your life will never be the same. Hi, I'm standing here with Art. How you doing, Art? Good. So, hey, how did how did uh, you feel? How do you feel about your baptism? I feel happier, awesome inside. Praise God. God's refreshing. Yes, God's good, isn't it? Yes, He is. All right, you having a good time? Yes. Cool. All right, thank you. I just wanted to take a minute and uh, just let everyone know uh, that you've been baptized, and uh, you know, you got anything else you'd like to say to anybody? Okay, God bless you, man.